Hello, beauty news family. Welcome to this week's episode of The Makeup, Makeup Breakup. Um, this week, we just decided to do something a little bit different and something that we do want to start doing more in the future. Um, it's kind of testing out sort of how many applications you might get out of a product um, and also at the same time, once again, seeing if it contains the amount of product that the packaging states. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing that I was most interested in, um, well, first off the bat, we've had a few people say, I'd like to see how many swatches there are in an eyeshadow or in a lipstick, and we might do that down the track, but what I was personally quite interested in was to see how much like pumps of product you get out of foundations. Mm -hmm. So we decided to do a comparison. We what did. What was our comparison? We have two foundations here, one from Rimmel, one from Natio. They're both 30 mil foundations. Yes. The Natio one has an airless pump, Correct. which means as you pump the product, the base pushes the product out. Mm -hmm. And when the product stops pumping, you cannot get to the product that is left yeah. inside. Yeah. A standard pump foundation, which is our Rimmel one, this is one where you pump your product out as a normal pump foundation. Yeah. And when it stops pumping, you can actually take the pump out and you can scrape product from the inside if you have something that will reach in there. Mm -hmm. So essentially what we wanted to do, like Kat said, was see how many pumps we could get from each foundation before they stopped pumping. And in addition to that, we did want to see if you can get the full 30 mils out of each packaging yes. just by pumping them. So if you want to see how we went, and by the way, there are a lot of brands that, most brands have pumps like this. Mm -hmm. The airless pumps are a little bit more rare because I believe they're a little bit more expensive. I think um, so, yeah. You often get these in higher end foundations. So for example, Urban Decay foundations have this. Um, and this was the only one that we could find in the drugstore. So we chose some really affordable ones because we're essentially throwing out foundations. So we just picked the cheapest possible. So if you do wanna see how many pumps you get out of these and also can you get the 30 mils claimed on the packaging just by pumping them out. Um, keep, keep watching. Was it that was the last one so there's still stuff in there yep so you can see here that the foundation is just under the 30 mil mark um, there is a little bit on the side still and a tiny bit left in the bottle so we're confident that there's 30 mils in there um, however you can't get what's left in here uh, we will now compare what's in here to what's in the Rimmel bottle
really feels like. Yeah. Yeah. Do you see anything? Yeah. Nothing. Really? Yeah. Like, it's on the edges. If we let it settle, it'll probably, you know, we might get a few more pumps out of it. Mm. But that's it. You could definitely scrape. I mean, you can already see it, like, scraping off the edges. Yeah. So it's a very thin layer on the edges of the bottle. But that was it. Like, that was the natural pumping of the bottle. Wow. So we got like maybe a hundred pumps and just over 20 mils of the mm -hmm. product. So they definitely, when they say 30 mils, they mean <laughs> the, it, it, the bottle contains, yeah, it's not holds 30, 30 mils, but yeah. it's not 30 mils that comes out. It's not 30 mils of usable product that's mm -hmm. easy to access. So as you saw there, we did have some interesting results. With the Natio Foundation, we had 289 pumps. That's a lot. That's a lot. Now, granted, when we were pumping it, only a small amount of product comes out. So it also seemed thicker in consistency. It did, yes. It had a, I wouldn't say moussey, but it was sort of heading there. With the Rimmel one... We got approximately a hundred pumps. Now it did get a little bit iffy towards the end there, mm -hmm. um, but close enough to a hundred pumps. Mm -hmm. And there was product left in there along the edges of the bottle that I could see when I looked in there. Very thin layer and also a tiny bit at the bottom where the yep. pump doesn't quite get all the way down. So you would really need a specific little makeup spatula to, to be able there. to clear that out if you were that keen on using all the product yes um, we also did see that this um, in the little beaker kind of thing this was just over the 20 mil mark that it reached whereas the, the natio one was like just, just shy over. of 30 mil so even though the pump size was probably completely different you could definitely get um, bigger pumps out of this it also was a more liquidy consistency so it came out like there's more product coming yeah. out in every pump. Um, you did get probably like an estimated seven or eight gr like mils more out of this one than this one just yes. by pumping them. So that was interesting to see as well. So this sort of um, mechanism does work a lot more effectively than just a normal pump. Yes. However, if you were willing to dig product out of this, yeah. you most likely would get your full 30 mils. Mm -hmm. Whereas with the Natio one, what it pumps out yeah. is all you're getting. Yeah, because you really, unless you start pulling the yeah, like you're gonna the have to get apart, some, you yeah. have to get, you know, it's you, not easy just to remove that small thin layer that's yes. left in there. Now, when we look at potentially how many uses you could get out of these foundations, you do have to take into consideration how much product is coming out with each mm -hmm. pump. So the Natio one, very small amount of product with each pump, mm -hmm. and. Personally, I don't feel that one pump would even cover a face no. standardly, even if you like a really sheer. You would probably finish. need more like minimum two. Yeah, I probably reckon. most people go for even three, three. or four. Yeah. So, um, yeah, this one did. There wasn't much product coming out. No. Whereas with what this one, you could possibly do like a light application with one pump. But yeah. chances are, you'd probably use a couple. Yeah. Um, but if you did break it down. How many applications do you get out so of these? So, with the Rimmel, let's say, for example, obviously, if you use one pump, you're going to get 100 uses out mm -hmm. of it. So, 100 days. Two pumps, 50 days. Yep. You would not use more than that. There was so much no. product that came out. I just can't imagine anyone using more yep. than two pumps. With the Natio one, if you use two pumps for an application, you're going to get 144 uses out Which of it. Which is crazy. That's a lot. It's um, heaps. And even if you use three pumps, you're going to get 96 uses. That's Which, over three months of yeah. use. So that's over three months, and this is potentially a month and a half, yeah. maybe. Mm -hmm. So it is very interesting to see. It is. It's all about preference and also application methods. Yes. So if you use a sponge or a brush or if you use fingers. your fingers, yeah. you'll use a different amount of product. But you could definitely get more days worth of this mm -hmm. looking into you know months and months and months 
of daily use of yep. this versus a couple of months, probably at best, um, of this Rimmel one. So there you go. Interesting. I found it interesting. Fun to see. Yeah. I wish we could afford to do like a massive breakdown of like every drugstore foundation. Yeah. Or even start getting into some of the higher high end, end ones. I would love to do high end and yeah. take into consideration like full cover, medium, light. Yeah. Oh, I'd love to do that. Maybe one day, folks. Maybe one Maybe day. Maybe in the future. Maybe. But not today. No, not today. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget we make the makeup breakup videos mm -hmm. every Wednesday and you can check out a playlist here. So don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. And we've started an Instagram account. Oh, so if you do have. want to see like little snippets and sneak peeks and close up photos and stuff like that, um, we'll link it in the description down. box yes. down below. So, Check it out. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one, guys. Bye. Bye.